All right, sports fans. Hillbilly and Bozo catfishing here, guys. Uh, guys, we have done. Camera set here, right? I kind of showed this last time, guys, was out fishing on the river. Uh, I want to try to redo it here real quick. Uh, okay, guys, what we've done. Okay, if you'll see that right there, how that jug is, that twine is shrunk and that jug is bent. See how it's got that pulled down? Okay, I don't know, and right here on the inside, you can see it's creeping my jugs. Okay, if anybody's making their jugs like this, they have started. I don't know if it's winter or summer. I think it's winter. You'd think it would be summer. This line would get hot and shrink, drying out, but I think it's winter time because it seems like every spring when I pull these out, it's like that. So, let me show you guys here what I've done. And over time, these jugs do plastic gets brittle and these crack. The foam in it, this one here is cracked and got a hole in it, but the foam in it still keeps it from floating. They don't sink. That big chunk of foam, they still they still float. Um, still float fine. But, okay, what I've done here, guys, gals, Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. My board moved. There we go. Okay, now what we've done, hopefully, guys, to stop that, if anything, it'll break a zip tie. What I've done here is cut some thick plastic off of a plastic barrel and cut some strips. And then I just run two zip ties around the handle. And it was, at first, that's all I did. Well, it was still going up in. I don't only have this much room to wrap my twine. The reason I went this way because I had a bigger wrap and I could wrap them up quicker. Uh, my my jugs is not three and four or five feet. They're this one's 19 to anywhere from 15 to 26 foot deep, and that's 26 foot of water, 26 foot of line that I'm reeling up. So. What I've done is done that, and then I went out here on the end and drilled a small hole right at the very end of the that lid and run a screw in it and held that on there, and it's tip. You can't, I can't pull that off. So, 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 now what we do, guys, we've got a bigger, bigger wrap, and I just wrap them around like that, and that goes pretty quick. And like I said, this one here is 19 foot. The 
then you get right there and I just drop them guys through the handle just go around one end of the other and drop it through the handle and then start dropping it in there and eventually the last one goes through and that's it and hopefully they'll hold that's kind of loose right there anyway so if they shrink it's not going to pull nothing so anyway guys so you can see where that one there had crimped it up and cracked it but anyway my jugs won't shouldn't get like that no more so new modification wanted to show that to you guys and that's the way they are so thanks for watching guys and like i said the last little rod holder video man we're heading to the river and uh i'm gonna try these out and go catch some big cats man so stay tuned guys subscribe so you you so you don't miss it because we're gonna bring you a big one we caught a uh, if y'all ain't watched we caught a 40 44 pounder last week last time i went big old flathead and uh we got some big rods and we're gonna try to get one like that on a big rod and reel for y'all so i know that's what y'all like seeing so we're gonna try to bring it to you guys thanks for watching stay tuned